With more than 24 hours after a high-powered delegation from the federal government led by the Defense Minister Bashir Magashi promising to rescue the abducted Kankara government science secondary school boys in few hours, more reactions have continued to come in. A youth group under the name Transparency Advocacy Center in a briefing are advocating for the empowerment, recruiting and equipping the volunteer groups called NSAKE and the vigilante groups to help in the search and rescue mission declaring the Bring Back Our Boys campaign. The NSAK group who are declared outlawed by the state government some time ago are believed to be feared most by the bandits. Leader of the group, Kabir Shehu, who offered these solutions as part of their contribution towards prompt rescue of the over 300 abducted schoolboys said the essence is to avoid the recurrence of Chibok and Dapchi kidnap issues. The Transparency Advocacy Center is also calling for the immediate implementation of community policy. This involves arming our local vigilants, popularly known as Ensakai, with locally made gun called Jahila. They are also advocating that more vigilante group members be recruited and armed with the dreaded local guns called Jahila to help in the rescue mission. This time, government contact our traditional blacksmith to manufacture Jahila in abundant quantity for our vigilantes. The group is also calling for the immediate implementation of the community policing initiative as well as reform and build the capacity of the traditional rulers at all levels to enhance gathering of intelligence. Zakari Omale, AIT News, Katsina.